Supply chain issues and worker shortages are affecting the world in many different ways. For trucking contracts, there is a 20% rejection rate across the country, meaning trucking companies will not pick up loads that are put on the market. Because Basin Electric's generation and transmission facilities tend to be more remote or rural, transportation can get very expensive or simply not be available at all. John Klein is Vice President of Procurement. We're experiencing a lot of challenges with, uh, with Wyoming specifically where anything coming greater than about 800 miles, uh, companies just don't want to bring the product in, um, mostly due to lack of backhaul out of Wyoming. Um, we've had uh, our main LTL, our less than truckload carrier in North Dakota pull out and, and really not deliver in at all. So we've had to find other carriers to take care of our um, our trucking needs to North Dakota and all our power facilities. Costs for freight have gone up significantly. International loads being about double the cost of even a year ago. Backlogs at shipping ports are increasing lead times by at least half. Right now there's 80,000 available trucking jobs in the United States. The industry itself is experiencing a labor shortage. Um, I think there's a transition from uh, perhaps some of the older uh, truckers who have been doing this job for a number of years are retiring and, and the, the backfill of the labor force isn't there, uh, so to speak. And, and I think that's become a, a bit of a challenge in the industry. You know, they, they face pressures from long days. Uh, they're, they're not at their house every weekend uh, necessarily. That, you know, the, the, the job itself is a challenging job and, and um, I think the the industry's probably going to have to get creative to uh, lure in additional employees and make this a more lucrative job for, for some of the staff.